guys welcome back to my channel vishal vfx please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon before watching this video so today in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create modes of dust with the help of new particle system uh, just to give you a briefer idea or reference how or what we are talking about what i'm talking about is this we're going to create uh, the this particles which uh, usually comes from the volume rays uh, we, like usually in a win from a window like you, you can see the example over here this one the, the from the window the this ha this happen usually in the morning the when the sun rays hit the floor uh, come inside your house and there are, you can see the modes of dust flying here and there very subtle move with this very subtle movement and uh, how do we create them in new so let's get started so first thing first set your project to sd lock your range take particle emitter but before that we need to create a modes of like a, the reference for modes of dust so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a noise okay and the size of the noise is too big uh, like if you want to create a certain like many particles so it's really important for you guys to understand that if you are using a, a sec, even in the uv layout when we texture something so we usually texture in a square size like this is not the we don't have like 90 20 or 10 80 it's usually square so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to take refor reformat then we just gonna go square 256 uh, 256 i have you i have just uh, changed it to uh, like 128 28 the values of it so that i have uh, like much 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 smaller size of uh, the modes now you can see we have noise over here i'm just gonna like reduce the size of the noise now you can see we have a beautiful texture of like we can use it for mode i'm just gonna roto this one take a roto same thing we have to do it over here you can just take this as well keep it over here so you have square pixels just take a, like make a shape randomly we're gonna make at least three or four random shapes and we're just gonna mask this one mask 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 okay we're just gonna blur the edges slightly to have this kind of shape yeah um, so we have uh, created one moat of dust right now so we have to create multiple copy paste copy paste copy paste okay we're just gonna align them properly to make our new script look beautiful yes so we are just going to change the rotor of the modes, nothing else. We just need to sh change the shapes, nothing much more. Similarly, over here, view. Last one. I'm just gonna rotate it. <laughs> Being lazy. We're gonna connect the particle. Like we have four particles. right now you can see we have our particles are emitting but they are emitting in upper direction uh, if you have not seen my previous video on swan of works please do watch that video before starting it before coming or jumping with this one because i'm uh, like the way there are a few tips and tricks that i have shared over there so it's like i'm not going to repeat the same over here i'm just going to go it quick and make it short 
so uh, what you are going to do we are, we are supposed to take a cube so that it's uh, inside the cube the modes flying inside the cube i'm just slightly going to increase the size of the box display off so that i can see more in, modes inside now i'm going to tell uh, particle emitter to emit from to emit from the cube now you can see they are going in random directions like for the four six direction that, that cube have up down left right front back you can consider like that only so what we are supposed to do right now we need to kill the velocity so that they are uh, they don't have any the, oh, their own velocity so that we are just gonna use the oh, what is the logic behind our always killing this velocity the main reason behind killing this velocity is like these are just a, a tiny bits of particle which doesn't have too much of mass they don't have mass it's they are just totally dependent on the top like the wind uh, the environment the uh, wind uh, around them so they, they usually move slightly according to them that's why we just you take it uh, to zero so that they did they don't carry any of their velocity so it's uh, really simple uh, so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to make it bonding box so that we can see the modes inside okay take a camera see we have connected it to camera now you can see we have modes but they are usually a bigger size so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to reduce the size to make it look really really tiny like this much that's what we are supposed to do we are just they change we just gonna change the size range so they are they have their random shapes so what we are supposed to do now the most important thing we are going to add an expression like before in the previous video i have uh, told you guys like uh, i need to care, like create the particle at just a single frame so that they stay for for a lifelong i'm just gonna increase the maximum life to thousand so that they don't die easily so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a i'm just gonna uh, tell the uh, particle system to start at uh, minus 100 frame is equal to if frame is equal to minus 90 then emit 1000 particles or else zero that for what this expression means like if frame is minus 90 then the emit value would be 1000 or else it would be zero so right now we have thousand of modes in a system which are like uh, which are like they don't have they carry any any kind of uh, forces so what we are supposed to do so we have to add turbulence to them now right now we can see we have uh, like, like a really certain small i'm just gonna uh, scale size of the cube so that we get rid of that bonding box which was coming previously yeah so what you are supposed to do right now it's simple we just need to have add particle turbulence take particle turbulence give them like the, the you can see that the, the size of the particle is really small so uh, the, the turbulence strength always depends on the size of the particle if your size of a particle is really small so you have to add uh, so you have to add a really small value or else uh, the, 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 they, they were gonna have much 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 right now we have just added in x let's see what the movement is So you can see uh, they are swirling I think so <laughs> just because just because uh, the, some of the particles are going here and some of the particles are coming over here so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to have them in minus as well come on in the z so that they go behind
and in y direction as well. So now you can see we have like random modes flying here and there but the speed is really really like too much. So that's what I said that it, it totally depends on the size of it and the mass that it, the, the power particle is carrying. So your turbulence should be like. So what we are supposed to do we are supposed to reduce the value. as much as we can in order to have like really still they are going uh, in the like we have uh, already added like a much less value but still they are going so what we can do what else we can do uh, we can take particle drag which is always helpful particle drag So we're gonna drag them so that they stay inside the box. They don't go too much far away. And you can see they have really settled there. I think this is too much. I can just reduce the value. Yeah, that's what we gave. We wanted like the particles flying randomly here and there. So uh, I'm just gonna like create a quick volume ray. Take image. something like this yeah. so you yeah, suppose this is the window which is coming uh, from where the lights are coming inside so what we are supposed to do right now you can just uh, take this this mode you're gonna multiply this one the reason to multiply I'll just let you know so suppose th uh, this is the mode we have so if we multiply then this value will get multiplied like uh, if if the value is uh, around like you, you can see your 0 7 7 5 6 something over here so that uh, 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 from a we're gonna multiply to the value of this so that we get a result from here so if if the uh, value over here is 0 then we are like multiplying uh, any value with 0 is 0 so right now you can see if I multiply then anything outside the which were in 0 is 0 we don't see them so right now we have particles like this carrying the, the actual uh, intensity of the volume ray what you are supposed to do take this plus but the, like we can't see the intensity and the modes over here so what we are supposed to do we are just gonna take a grade right now over here just slightly increase the value so we can see right now the modes over here and the movement as well let me just quickly cache this this for you So I have rendered the modes in order to just uh, like uh, avoid buffering. So you can see we have modes flying here and there, and but still they are missing something. Like they have missing blur. Slightly you can add blur and add little bit of contrast to them. Sorry. So 
let's play. Uh, while rendering you just need to remember that we can just uh, change the channel to all so that we can we carry uh, mostly the information like uh, the jpeg doesn't store uh, rest of the information you can just uh, switch to exr or something else right now i've just uh, have rendered the jpeg so that we have i'm just gonna pause this one so we can carry the depth information and etc like the motion and everything which can be used to add motion blur and, uh, and all so we can use that as well yeah. if we want to have a depth of uh, like a depth of uh, depth of field on the modes so we can do that according to our scene requirement so this was the basic idea right now like uh, if you want uh, have turbulence and you want to have the, uh, the particles flowing from here to here in this direction you can just take particle wind like right now they are just uh, flying here and there so if you want them to come from uh, from here to here from screen left top to screen right bottom then what we can do is take a particle wind Wind. So we can just tell it to have value from zero 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 like in x-axis x-axis which is gonna tell it zero then like this is gonna go over here in x-axis and then we need then them to come downwards and we're just gonna play on the value yeah we just need to look that this is uh, the value isn't too much so right now you can see the particles are coming in this direction we just can increase the value of the y so the, those are coming like much more over here so let me quickly cache this one as well so I have cached the new particles right now you can see that this is looking so much wonderful like the, this part the remotes of particles coming from screen left top to the screen right lower bottom and again giving the realistic sense of feeling to us and we have volume rays like uh, going in like flickering uh, we can reduce the flicker if we want but that's not the mode of this video we, we just wanted to have like create the modes of particle and we can uh, definitely like reduce the speed it change in size we can do multiple of things by like uh, playing with the turbulence value with the drag value even the size having much more different shape of modes and uh, we can do multiple things uh, the way we want uh, according to us scene. so that's it for this video uh, guys please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the latest notification of my video thank you guys